Hi, this is Steve O'Mooney, and you're listening to another production of the 4i Radio Network at 4iradio.com. Hey there, Eric here from Socially Awkward Studios, and this 4 Eyed Radio presentation is being proudly brought to you by Raven Designs, illustration and design that fit your personality. For samples and inquiries, visit ravencruise.com. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Appropriately Inappropriate. Um, first of all, I am one of your hosts, Kevin Elliott. Our other host sitting right next to me is... What's up, guys? It's me, Nancy. It's Nancy. Um, quick, right out of the gate, you can follow me on Twitter at I am Kevin Elliott. You can follow me on Instagram at I am Kevin Elliott. You can follow Nancy on Instagram at N Garrigus. Perfect. Um, you guys, we hope you enjoyed last week's episode. It was with the new format where you know two comics come in and they share a bit with you and dissect it and got a lot of feedback from listeners that really really liked it a lot uh, a lot of comics have heard about it and they're dying to get on our show now to share bits with you guys so we're looking for some really big things coming up on today's episode nothing short of that we've got two extremely funny comedians we have Chappelle Lacey and Anwar Newton who have both been on the show before, so if you want to listen to those interviews, you can go back and find them, uh, hear what they have to say. Today they're going to share a bit with you guys, and uh, and we're going to break it down and get to know these guys comedically. You excited, Nance? I'm excited, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could whistle. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, without any further ado, let's get this episode started. There's always a, a thing where, you know, the joke is always changing. You know, you're always, always. It's always getting better. So to say the most polished one, but by next week, that shit could be a completely different joke. Right? <laughs> That's why I said. Imagine, you know, the way everybody can right. <laughs> The wording and everything. For real. It's, like, it's like the same skeleton but different skin. It's like, you know what I mean? But like, it's just like. It's the exact same joke. All I did was take the lettuce out <laughs> and now you got a ham sandwich. Yeah, That's ham the joke sandwich. Now. <laughs> or a turkey burger if you're me. I mean, okay, fitness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> Fuck out of here. Well, I'm really glad you guys are on the show then this week. Oh, we <laughs> started? Yeah. Right, yeah. This is great. Oh, we started. Yeah, yeah, we're recording. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I think I got it figured you, out. You want me to shut this? Or nah, no, yeah, you can know. leave that open. Okay, right, bring the mic a little bit closer, although the two you yelling, man. I, I feel like I'm watching a movie in Matthew Jackson's theater. Know, when are we gonna do like a bunny movie? You know what I mean? I need like 50 more shandies right now. People still drink that? <laughs> What the oh, fuck, man? I, just, I mean, well, I didn't know. I mean, it's just, it was I mean, in the fridge. Drink, but... Yeah, look at you talking shit. <laughs> I'm talking what? shit about you don't drink. drink. <laughs> no. You don't drink. But I didn't know people still drink lime. And, How do you lime know what the what the hot drink is if you don't drink? It? <laughs> <laughs> well, back in my day, <laughs> <laughs> is Shandy the hot drink right now? I don't, I don't know. Oh my it's God, in what season. Is the hot drink. I think it's Fireball. Is Fireball still popular? Still Fire, I, think I don't know. Fireball with the roofie. Oh, right. That's yeah. the pop. Is that an upcharge on a roofie? I mean, that's a little like one step up with the hydrocodone. Yeah, remember that? What was that drink? Oh, bring this closer. It was like the little Justin bit, Bieber dude. You two are so oh, goddamn oh, loud. <laughs> chips, man. Look at me. I can barely fit in the seat. Man. <laughs> oh, you pick the best seats. For Jaws of life. We'll get you out. Jaws <laughs> <laughs> of life. Right. Pour some shandy over you. We'll some yeah, I was on my out. way here jamming Matchbox Twenty. Man, it was like just perfect. <laughs> Because, like, the sun, I'm in Scottsdale. Matchbox 20 gets you in the comedic mood. (laughs) Yeah, man. Wait, are you, don't you, like, like Slipknot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But, like, I have this side to me that's, like, very soft. Like, I'll listen to some, like, real. Lauryn Hill. (laughs) No, Alanis Morissette. The Rob, Thomas Rob Thomas from Matchbox yeah, 20. Is Rob Thomas. <laughs> Minnie Ripperton. Nah. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Get into some Minnie Ripperton. Come inside your love. I don't know. He's hey, getting deep. He's getting real deep listeners. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting real deep. The listeners <laughs> I'm talking about like old school R&B. <laughs> like you know Zavin Rogers. Like Jason Collins. <laughs> oh, <he's> going, yeah. <laughs> Jason Collins. <laughs> I have a, I have a big I have a deep affection for '90s R&B girl groups. 
Night, oh, like, dude. Like, TLC, 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 TLC when that was SWV. Uh, SWV. SWV. Total. Gosh, dude. Hold on. All you know them all. 702. Sisters with voices. That's right. Yes. Hey, what, hold on. What was that? Damn it. Keep naming it because there's one I'm trying SWV, to think of. SWV, 702. Total was my favorite. Total they was good. Awful. They were I mean, they were the worst singers. And I, I was it Total them. that did that song with LL Biggie, Cool J? With Biggie and all them. I thought they did a song with LL. Yeah, they did a lot of songs with Bad Boy Records around that time. Was it, There's a girl group. It started with a V. Uh, in Vogue? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it didn't start with a V, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. But hey, I, I get where you were at. Crazy. Was like, <laughs> I'm just thinking of the magazine. Yeah. I'm a big hey, magazine good. reader. Never going to get it, never going to get it. Woo, 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 woo. I mean, that's my best singing voice. <laughs> I mean, hey. Yeah. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not meant to be a singer, okay? No, no. I'm not here for the podcast of singing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and why? Chappelle's gonna hit us with something at the end of the show. Right. Some, right. some songs out. How many of your friends on Facebook went to the New Kids on the Block concert? A lot of yeah. Them. Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, a lot. A lot of yours is. A lot. You went? I would have went. Oh, you would. <laughs> you know what? I. You know what? You know what's weird about me? I. I go to random stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like not even knowing, right. just like like I just go. You like why concerts. not? You know what I mean? You it's not even. Concerts, yeah, I just like concerts. Mm-hmm. But you know yeah, I'll I mean? see that though well, with Chappelle. Go. On Facebook, I just see random like Chappelle is going to blah blah blah, and it's like nobody else <laughs> yeah. is even anywhere near this invitation. It's like a Gloria <laughs> Stefan concert, and it's not even at a venue. It's like the third alley off of Fourth Street. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I'm still that diehard museum. punk rock, and I'll still go to those shows. Ah, man. I love that about you. I'll it's still different. go to those shows. Like I don't know, man. I just it's just my world. I can't get out of it. It just makes sense. You That's know awesome, I mean? though. That's way cool. I hate concerts. Why? But that's just me. I don't know. Have you ever been to one? I've been no, to a couple. You should go to one first. What did you go <laughs> see, Kid Rock? <laughs> no, dude. Yeah, you please. Went to Kid Rock. I didn't go like to that. Kid Rock, dude. I don't know what concerts are about, but if this is what they're about. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> concerts. <laughs> Matt, look. Richie or what? No, no, no. In high school, I went to the Bad Boy concert. Uh, it was America West Arena. Whoa. Back then, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was called America West Arena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, wow. Went to that concert, but you, I'm, you know, I'm a white gentleman, yeah, so yeah. we got skybox seats. So it was real nice. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it is? Is that what is that what we gotta do? A, um, a, I think we gotta change our skin tone. It's a genetic thing. I, think I, bought, I said, look, can I upgrade so I'm not with these people? No. Like, <laughs> <laughs> these people, these fucking floor seat motherfuckers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> these in the these. fucking mosh pit animals. Yeah, right. Bring oh, us our catered hot dogs. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Bring us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, man. With nacho pit. cheese on the side. No. I think I would die. I think I'd literally die in a mosh pit. Yeah, no, I, there's no way I'd die. I mean, I've been in one. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. You, the, crazy, the crazy thing about me is with mosh pits is that I've never fallen. Yeah, I never. Oh, if you fall, you'll die. I mean, yeah, yeah. right. Like, but like, well, but like, you're in a people, are, people are nice enough to like pick yeah. you up and stuff like that. Like, yeah. I mean, people are like, like quickly, like this. Like, hey, I'm, I'm yeah, always that yeah. person. Like, I'll quickly pick you up. I mean, yeah, it's like the rule. That's the rule. You but yeah, up. but like, I mean, you got to know what you're getting into when right. you go in there. Look got, at us black guys talking about mosh. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. is this, is this you're teaching white format? people. It's great. Yeah. Teaching white people how to mosh. Yeah, I went to mosh pit. I went to new format of the show is black people teaching white people white people things. Like I was playing. I, just, I wouldn't survive. Oh, roller derby? That, see, I, I wouldn't I, survive. I, I, I wouldn't survive. Would roller derby. Have you seen those women? Dude. <laughs> I know a couple of roller derby chicks, and they got legs like fucking tree trunks. Oh my gosh. They will destroy your life. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Completely. I got checked into the boards at a roller skating rink when I was in like fourth grade by a sixth grade girl. And I cried. <laughs> she, she hurt my body, dude. Oh my god. She didn't even feel bad. I mean, I can't she even kept lie. Skating I, on. I mean, I got beat up by a girl in like third grade. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. But I mean, oh, oh, okay. So you laugh at mine? I don't even laugh at your pain, but yeah. you laugh at mine. No, nah, I know because it wasn't a fight. Like she came out of nowhere, <laughs> checked me in. Oh, mine was a fight. <laughs> <laughs> I lost. <laughs> I was a little twiggy skater, man. Was she, was and it was your sixth grade no. teacher? <laughs> she, uh, Third grade. what was her name, man? They called her... Mrs. Johnson? <laughs> no. It was a black girl. Did you break uh, up with her? Yeah, no. I didn't even... No, she used to like... 
She used to like run up and like rip my brother's clothes or something, and I used to get mad at it because our parents would get mad when my brother came home with ripped clothes, and I was like, you know what? I'm going after her, and I went after her, man. I, I attacked her. Like, I, I went full force trying to get this girl, and all she did was just stick her foot up, boom, kicked her right in the stomach. Like, three, like it happened like three times. Like I, I didn't, I didn't think. That, I know. You kept him in the seat. I right kept right, just like you didn't try to flank or come from the side. <laughs> I didn't have any strategy. <laughs> I bet you never see me cover the front. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gonna kick me right here? Let me run right back at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> I, I survived, it. by the way. So. No. And you got big. Yeah, and I got big. <laughs> Fight me now. That's the reason. Where are you at? I hope you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> this half. Yep. That's the reason why Chappelle is like donkey. Did you get into cheerleading so you could throw women legally? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why? Just throw them into the sky. Oops, I, I didn't catch you. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> sorry I dropped you. <laughs> Not sorry. All right, so let's get into this a little bit. Uh, format, new format show is you guys run a bit that Actually, it's polished. Like, you're not working on it anymore, really. And then we dissect the shit out of it. Where'd it come from? How did you get from point A to point B? How many times did you screw up? Chappelle, I know it's a lot. (laughs) (laughs) I think people just hear me talk and they start laughing. No. Oh, dude. Anwar Anwar and Nancy. All right. Chappelle texted me. uh, Was it last weekend? I last weekend so. or the weekend before? Probably the weekend before. Maybe. And uh, oh, I think it was. It wasn't last weekend. The weekend before. And he says, where are you performing tonight? And tell him, I'm at Speakeasy. Come on by. And we'll get you a spot. Try and get you a spot. So he comes in. Gets a spot. He goes up. You went after me, right? Yeah. All right. There was a, a table to when we're on stage looking out to the left of the stage. There are like 10 women. 10 women. But like 40, 45-year-old yeah. women. Ham, I mean hammered. Seven thirty show. They've been drinking <laughs> since. That's the best, dude. <laughs> Not for the seven thirty. It was seven thirty show. The first show. I was like, whoa. Wait, was it a Friday or Saturday? Uh, what Saturday. Was it? Saturday. That was Saturday. Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. Seven thirty p.m. They had been drinking since probably seven thirty a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Where are they? Yelling from? out. I mean. Numbers? They were from Vegas? They're, yeah, they were from Vegas. So we're like, dude, how do you not know how to drink? You're from Vegas. Yeah, it was it was like they had two drinks and they're like, Aah! Yeah, dude, they wouldn't stop. So we go up and do the show. Chappelle goes up and does like 10 minutes yeah. through your material. And then the show goes on, whatever ends. And we're standing at the door just saying bye to everybody. Thanks uh-huh. for coming, whatever. And all of the, not one, all of the women walk up to Chappelle and they're like, can we get a picture with you? Please get on stage with us. Will you hang out with us? Will you be with us for the rest of the time we're in Arizona? You're the greatest person ever in the world. Dude, now. It was crazy. I was way funnier than Chappelle was. (laughs) So I know they're just going on looks alone at this point. Yo, and I was wearing and I was wearing this shirt, dude. Yeah, they were like, "Yo, this dude fucked." They, <laughs> they, I've never seen a group of women fall in love with someone so fast <laughs> in my entire they were life. Crazy. They were like, they're like, "Hey, take us around in your car." And I was like, "I drive a fucking Toyota Corolla." Like, like, <laughs> take you all around. It was like ten of them. They were like, Four at a "Take time. us around." Yeah, yeah, they dude. were like, "I don't know, I don't know what they were getting at," but they were like. Let's like do something. Let's go somewhere. I was like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are as old as my mom. Why Chill you, out. Why didn't you have sex with like 10, 50 year olds that night, man? Why did it? What's, what's the story? And that's that Chappelle's a style, too. Story that night. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. He just got real quiet. <laughs> he was like, listen, I had sex with two of them, and I ran out of steam. Just so that you guys know. You, you, you guys are making me blush right now. It's really hard. <laughs> let's, see, let's see your back. It's like 50-year-old claw marks. Yeah. On this motherfucking shoulder blades right now. Dude, it was awesome, though. It was, it was really, really cool. It was really funny, cool. though. They were like, they, it was like a, they just all swarmed me, like, yeah. hey, 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 hey. I was like, okay, fangirls. Pu- pushed me out. Out of the way, and they're like, "You, <laughs> yeah. we want you." I felt like I felt like Neil Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> of all the people, I did. <laughs> Holy shit! 
<laughs> the ladies do, uh, love Neil Diamond. They, they yeah, of course they do. Him. Like, like women are obsessed with him. He's he's amazing. Still, yeah. he's good. He's talented. Yeah. See, I love. He's got great music. <laughs> you like everything, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get down with like, a lot of things. Th- what is it? Slipknot. Only, yeah. And Sound of Music in his car right now. I think got the only, Sound of Music. The only thing that's hard for me to get down with is probably. Uh, some country, some of the country music. Well, yeah, it's a little hard a for animal. me to yeah. get down with, but like older country, like I can listen to right. more like, like you know, Stray like backwoods, Wayne like Jennings. twangy type of like country. You know what I mean? Okay. I like I like that stuff, like the deep rooted country. Right. I, I can I can bluegrass. Yeah, bluegrass right. stuff like that. I can get down with stuff Devil like that, but like. George. Yeah, I can get down with stuff like that, but like the more like poppier side R- of country. Rascal Flats. Yeah, nah. I don't know who they and are. You know, it was funny. That name. That name. So it was funny. Flats. I've seen Rascal Flats in concert. Because <laughs> <laughs> why not? Why He's not? the only person I know with season tickets to concerts. <laughs> Every show, every show, dude. I've seen Reba McIntyre. I've seen Neil McCoy. I've seen like it's so random. Because everyone's like, "Hey, Chappelle, you want to go to this concert?" I'm like, "You know what? Yeah, let's go." Yeah, fuck it. Like anyone. You know yeah. Know one. Someone got me to go to Lil Wayne and Drake. Like I've, I've, like that was probably like the second rap concert I've ever been to. Yeah. The first one was I think was Kanye West before he was like. Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> Way before. He's a nice guy. I was like, that guy's got a good heart. <laughs> it's all about he's going he's to be a great person. About dreams, <laughs> <and mom. laughs> he's, he's just going you know, to motivate he's people. Just, that's awesome. He's really going to help people. <laughs> right. What I want, uh, let's do this. Let's break into a bit. I want you to do, since you can't come up with one, do your, uh, your in the club bit. With the, do you know what I'm talking about? So I don't have to explain it anymore. In the like club, yeah, alert. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. In the right, club. How about you just pick both of them for us? So yeah, I don't want to grab it. Because I don't want to. Do you like that bit or something? <laughs> yeah, do you, I, I've do never you. seen you on War. <laughs> like, who are you? Who are you? I want to have done about a hundred shows I together. The only show that <laughs> me and Anwar have done together was at a gay bar. Remember that long time ago? Talking about at Apollo's. Apollo. Oh shit! Long time ago, and it wasn't even a show. You just saw Anwar there. (laughs) I just saw Anwar there. I was in my son's dress, so I was having a good time. You know, and Chappelle come in with his diesel ass chest, just all out. I was like, yo. And then all the gay dudes ran up front row. Like, it was crazy. I was like, whoa. Sit back. <laughs> Swarming at me. Holy shit. I, I guarantee the two of you are gay bars dream. Hell yeah. Well, of course. because All hair, this chocolate? Well, Come on I, now. I used to cut this all shit this really proper and stop. Like, right. when I used to cut my hair, like, really edgy, like, really sharp and care for it every week. Different I look like Grace Jones. <laughs> so I don't care. Like, I just, I just, I don't give a fuck about my hair. Have now, you so. always had this hairstyle? Nah, man. I used, I started out with the crew cut, and then I, like, grew my hair because I, I was like, I'm going to be on some... Now, well, actually, Chappelle, you posted a photo. You used to have a fro, mini, yeah. a half fro, I call it. I don't it. know why. And did man. you ever have a fro? I've had every black hairstyle there. Yeah? Because <laughs> like, I've always wanted an afro. But I, dude, yeah, I, just, I just started getting fades. Yeah? Like, I've always done my hair the exact same. <laughs> Two all the way around, square everything. <laughs> <laughs> and, and every time I go to the barber shop, all the black dudes are like, come on, man, let me hook you up, man. Let me get, let me get you right, right man. Name you know, let me, <laughs> hey, hey, man, let me, let me get you, let me get you something nice, man. I'm like, I didn't ask for that. I was like, just cut my sideburns, make them short. <laughs> okay? Do all the way around, square everything, please. You ever no, nah, man, let me, let me get you, let me get you something right, man. Let me get you something. I like, to, I like to imagine a barber gets really like desperate. Like, he's like, listen, all right, all right, cool. So we do that to the top. What about the pubic hair? Let me know. What about that? Can I put a little thunder <laughs> back? Can I get a little thunder down there? Shape it down a little, little kitty. Right, like, right, come on. Where the hair at? Give me all your hair. Give me all your hair. I cut that butt old hair. I put a fade in that butt old hair. What I did, I went to a black barber, did a mural of New York on my back. The whole fucking sky 
Like, right. Hey, just hook you up. <laughs> hey, hey, play. I hooked you up, man. I hooked you up. <laughs> I did you right, he man. He paid me. Oh, he was like, if you shirt, yeah, yeah, if you don't wear a shirt, man, I, I'm paying you for this. <laughs> hey, thanks, just, dude. All you do is walk around shirtless with a New York Yankees fitted, just <laughs> with double guns up and a bicep yeah, dude. curl. He, <laughs> he signed the bottom where the tramp stamp goes. It was dope, dude. It was dope. It just said Giuliani right down there. In the bottom. <laughs> hey, come back to Ripping Cadillac Cuts. <laughs> <laughs> Cadillac Cuts, baby. Come on, come on back down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so do I, yeah, 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 dude. Do, 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 do the bit. Yeah, I want you to do the bit. We're gonna be extra solid and not laugh at all. Don't don't <laughs> laugh like. Because I'm going to bomb this. <laughs> Relax, man. So you are performing this in front of thousands of people that fight. are listening. It's like a fight or flight reaction right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> now you can see why those women wanted him. So oh, much. hey, I like how I like having a. Good he time really going needs out to pick dancing. me up after this set. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to perform this bit. This is a, a bit that I wrote. Everybody look at the by, uh, I'll ask you the question. Just do the bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get all, like, smooth jazz with it. Hey, this is a bit I wrote. Um, <laughs> this is for you, for all you ladies. <laughs> this is for everybody in the house that love to laugh. <laughs> you want me to even, like, do my move? Do you don't have to, but you like, can explain it. Like I'll, do, I'll do the move. I don't know. So... I used to like, uh, I, okay, hold on. <laughs> you see, and here's the thing, about, the thing about this bit is that I start it different every time. Let's start it like this, okay. okay. <laughs> Let's start it like this. <laughs> Visibility glasses. I'm not kidding. How, lo- how long have we been recording? Uh, 20 minutes. This has been the most fun 20 minutes this podcast has ever been. Okay. I'm having the greatest time right now. We haven't we done have anything. Shandies. I can't get some more shandies. Maybe they do have liquor in them. That summer shandy, you know? We literally haven't talked about anything yet. I'm having the best time. We have a summer. We have a shandy summer. Right now. Oh, okay. So I'll start it this way then. I got it. I got it. So uh, I've been sober for about a year and a half now. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been working on it. Been working on it. Norm- and the, normally, people. And the, do thing, this. Of, and the thing about me, <laughs> the, the crowd work bit this fucking asshole. <laughs> this son of a bitch. <laughs> He's waiting for response from the people in the studio. I know. You like how I look at you guys like, that is great. Where's my crowd? You wanted me to perform it, so I'm going. Right, and the thing, okay, the thing about me is that when I, when, uh, when I used to drink, I used to like going out, dancing, and having a good time. And the thing about me is, is um, when I drink, uh, the more drinks I have in me, the shittier dancer I become. Like people, other people, it's the opposite. The more drinks they have, the better dancer they are. Me, I'm just like dancing around. My arms are just moving and my legs aren't even doing anything at all. <laughs> I look like one of those things outside the car dealership that's just blown up in the air <laughs> like that. I look like one of those balloons. All right? And one time, this girl, she was feeling my moves. I don't know why. I don't know why she was feeling that. The black guy off rhythm at the club. I mean, I don't know why she was feeling that. So she, and she comes up, she starts dancing with me, and she's doing better than I am. So I'm like, holy shit, like, this is a white woman. I'm a black guy in America. I had to dig down, <laughs> find that inner James Brown in me. I had decided I was going to do a spin move, okay? Mind you, I have my bottle of beer in my hand. I'm having a good time. I'm confident in this spin move. Well, I do this spin move, all right? <laughs> I, did, I, did. I did the move. I did the move. It came, it came out more like Prince than James Brown. Just, to, <laughs> just so the just so the listeners understand. So I do this spin move, right? And I pour my beer on everyone around me, and then I sock that bitch in the face. <laughs> Laid her out. <laughs> See, that's what's hard about this bit, okay? Because I go to something else. Because you know how, like, I refer. Yeah. To something you else. Just want to yeah. do your whole five minutes right I now. I mean, I'm about to, I'm about to do five. I'm about to do five <laughs> minutes. My mix, five, my type five. Right now, because my mixtapes coming out. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> the flaming hot mixtapes. <laughs> flaming hot mixtapes. Chester Cheetah presents flaming hot mixtapes. <laughs> flaming hot. <laughs> Hey, you picked the right people to come to. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> laughing is, like, I love laughing, so, I mean, I could do this all no. day. No. 
<laughs> I'm the comedian that hates laughing. So, so, <laughs> don't you, don't you laugh. <laughs> so, so, but there is a lot more to the, I yeah, guess, because the, the bit's bigger than that. It's way bigger. Because I, I, I do like a bit earlier, like, like, like the start of my set. And then, like, I'll usually finish with the dancing at the club, punching the girl bit. Because <laughs> then, then I do, uh, like, I do a tag where it comes back to that first bit that I talked about. And that's what gets the crowd going. Like, oh, yeah, because he said that earlier. Blase, blase. Yeah. Uh, did, first of all, I like to ask this, and it doesn't, I mean, whatever. Comics embellish some things. Is that whole thing true? Uh, I didn't pour my beer on everyone. <laughs> I made sure the DJ booth was clean. Yeah, the DJ. Uh, I actually, actually, uh, I poured the beer on her, and I punched her. <laughs> at time. So like it. A little truth to it. Yeah. So that, and yeah. was this the girl you fought in third grade? Was no. <laughs> no. Hey, let's dance, baby. Come on, let's uh, let's reminisce. That was her apology. Like, can I dance to you as an apology? To what oh yeah, come apologize to me. <laughs> you think I forgot about third grade? I, I, saw yeah. <laughs> I know how to make this look like an accident. I'm a horrible dancer. So. <laughs> And you oh. prove it, I'm gonna spill my beer. Right. <laughs> so yeah, I poured my beer on her, and then uh, I I did punch her in the face. And the only reason why I did punch her in the face is because someone came up, like I was dancing, like with my arms up, and mm-hmm. like and like my, like my fist happened to be in front of her <laughs> face, and someone hit my elbow, which made it gave her the, the power boost. Yeah, it gave her the power boost, socked out. her in the face. Did she, she go down? Did it hurt? Huh? I mean, you're big. So yeah. Did she go? No, she didn't go down. She's a. No, she was a taller girl. She was. I think. I want to say she was around my height. Yeah. Yeah. She's like. Yeah. She, she was probably she knocked her down. Oh, she was I so mean, mad. An accidental yeah. punch from you could hurt. I mean, really bad. <laughs> but I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> so I, but in real life, what happened after you hit her? What do you do? Oh, she she stormed off away from me. <laughs> That's she it. Stormed, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, hey, let's. <laughs> what did you All think right. happened? But, I write jokes. <laughs> I go. <laughs> the situation happened, and I go, "Hey, you know what would be funny? <laughs> Stick around for a just, minute. What if I just go to the situation? Uh, no, I still talk to the girl. <clears throat> oh, you know her? <laughs> yeah, I know you, her. Do you, like, by that, you mean you send her messages on Facebook <laughs> that go to her other box? <laughs> No, I know her. She and she she saw me perform the joke and she knew exactly wow. the situation. That's yeah, because she had Guinness all over her, man. And, oh, gosh. at the club, but then that yeah, night you told the yeah. joke, she was just Guinness all over her. No, I, I poured the I poured my Guinness on. And her. when you were telling like, the joke, you were just like, oh, you were. It wasn't on purpose. You're like dancing, okay. looking yeah. away. You man. don't drink because it makes you a terrible dancer. Yeah, so I, I need to, I need to find that groove again. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can't I can't just be a a I black guy with no rhythm. And have you know you what I mean? Tried the shanty. The I yes Maybe you should drink some I shandies. the first time I ever this this is the first time I had that little line and kugel thing was it when I was in Illinois because like their their location is in Wisconsin right and I was just a little uh, where I was in Illinois was just a little like a, like an hour away from Wisconsin so like that was like the big thing there Chicago. that everyone drank. Chicago, yeah. Maybe. yeah, Chicago. Yeah. Well, maybe yeah. you just need to find the right drink. Maybe I do. Maybe you need the right Shandy in your life. <laughs> the right Shandy in my life. Maybe I do. Where you at, Shandy? How? Where you at, girl? It's like your Thor hammer. Like, you put your hand out. It just comes to you. I hear the Shandy oh. comes to your head. Oh, no. And it gives you special dancing powers. Like, like a demigod. Oh, you know what? I need, I'm need. i going to ask you a question. Uh, Grinding Nemo. Grinding right? Nemo? You said yeah. it last episode yeah. for Joe. Yeah. Uh, he said it that night, and good. it crushed. Good. I'm glad <laughs> so I Grinding job. Nemo. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Uh, she <laughs> added to his bit, dude. It worked out great. Yeah. Um, What's your hey, man, This ain't fucking Joe's episode, From motherfucker. What? <laughs> <laughs> right? What the fuck is going on? Joe, here? you had your time. <laughs> <laughs> all right now. Yeah, you had your time, Joe. <laughs> this ain't so, Joe's night. <laughs> <laughs> I just I forgot to tell her. All right, oh, whatever. I'm man. happy. That made me happy. See, there you go. Thanks, I'm making women happy. Uh, oh. So, <laughs> which is rare. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, from when it happened to take it to the stage and tell it for the first time, how long did that take? How long did it take to like it like develop? No, the very first time you tell it on oh, stage. Oh, the very first time I did it, how did it go? Oh, it went really good. Yeah? Like, people were like, I don't know, I guess just people, people's reaction to me being a, a black guy that couldn't dance and I'm like drunk and I guess just the way I like do the dance like so offbeat and like 
just my arms flare, flailing around like that. Like they just, it just like it already got it already got their attention. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> oh, okay, I need to hear more of this. Yeah, yeah. And so like, and usually when I say I have I have the beer in my hand, they already can like sense that like, oh, okay, he's probably gonna pour his beer on everybody when he does the spin move. So that's why I say that's why I say uh, I pour my beer on everyone around me. But what they don't what they don't see coming is the fact that I punched the girl in the yeah. face. And you choose. So like, and, that, and that's what, and like, that's like the first joke I've ever written where it's like right off the bat, yeah. ki- killed. Yeah. You build a lot yeah. of suspense in that joke. Yeah, and I think, and I think yeah. that's why it like works so good. It's just because of the suspense in it. And like when they hear that I punch her in the face. And then, so I added to it because uh, usually what I would do was I would dance off in that same way and just kind of like, you know, yeah. off rhythm dance away, like nothing happened. And then uh, one of my buddies was like, man, I thought you were going to say you hit in the dark. You know what I mean? And I was like, oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah. So so I just, you know, talk so about like. So that's where the rest of it Yeah, so that's yeah. where, it, you know, because when I start off, like, you know, I usually say something about my skin tone, about how dark I am, because everyone's thinking I like it when I walk when on you stage. Talk about your teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when fun. I say I'm a floating teeth on stage, you know what I mean? Like everyone's already thinking it. They're like, "Oh, this guy's dark." <laughs> so I just make it come. I make it. Oh, you weren't. The first time. Right. Everyone else is. <laughs> They're like, man. As soon as you walked on stage, I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you know, you're the darkest American I've seen. You're the, you're the blackest motherfucker the with black the best dental plan. And you know what's funny, man? Is that a lot of Africans come up to me and ask me what part of Africa I'm from. I hear that so much. When I used to live on like, the East Coast, they used to ask me if I was Dominican. A lot. I, I can see that. I, 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 yeah, I, I can, can see, see that, that too. That. I can so see that. But did, your joke does catch my attention with the you can't dance thing because it's. Yeah, because you know. I mean, because they're like, come on, black guy. Yeah. Well, so black black guy. Black you can dance. Aut- autism. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you know. Like, when black people are autistic and they can't dance. That's the only telltale sign. I just move, when you, move uh, his arm around. What's when up? you say that part of it. Um, the you know the black guy that can't dance you do the dance move and I know white crowds love it because they can relate to being yeah. shitty dancers yeah. Yeah. and that whole thing when you do it for a black crowd do you get the same response oh yeah 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 because they're like come and on. then when you <laughs> come on, bro. they're like brother, brother, no but, then, brother what, what you doing when you say, when you say that you yeah. punched yeah. a girl in the face I bet all the girls go quiet and the guys like oh yeah what's next <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. no everyone guys, I, don't I don't know I don't know what it is about that part and I'm like and like. I don't know. And girls go quiet, and then they wait for the punch, and then they probably laugh eventually. I wonder. Right? I wonder if they go quiet. They don't. I they're, bet like, they do. they're like, oh, I don't like. Just drop the. Do it and just see if you can tell how women just go. What the fuck? Where's this going? They'll give you the. You chance. bunch of women. No, they'll give you the chance because it starts out really funny, so mm-hmm. they're going to give you the chance to say, "Where is this yeah. going?" I mean, that's what I would do. Yeah. So I did. <clears throat> that makes sense. Yeah. Did you write it out before you went on stage? Or? I don't write jokes. Okay. I don't write jokes, motherfucker. No, no, no. I know that was like I said it in the obvious way. Right jokes. <laughs> we talked, but we talked about this last week. Yeah, Not to bring I, up that episode again, but yeah, but we, uh, you know, we talked about yeah, writing never, on stage I and whatnot. Never write jokes, man, because it's like I don't know, like it's it's weird writing it because like what I'm it's thinking the and then what I write down yeah. is like not not how it's gonna come out. So I ha- so I got used to just like going up there and talking to the people as if I was just going to tell a buddy, man, like, hey, what do you think of this? Like, Dude, I, I tried that last night and I bombed hard. Really? Yeah. It, I mean, it's hard, but like, it only makes sense to me. Mm. You know, what it's I mean? the way like, it should be. Yeah, and like, and like, it, everyone the has their, everyone has everything. like their, you know, their different writing style. But like, I can't, I can't write a joke, man. Like, <laughs> like, I mean, I, like, I'll put down. There's times where I'll go and like, I'll have like, so I'll have my topic. And then I'll just write like little bullet points, but like right. most of the time it's yeah. like it's, it's just like my little tags and yeah. stuff like that. But otherwise, man, like usually it's on stage because like it it gives me that motivation to really like you know like make it make it what it what it should well, I think be. Like so. When you do it that way, you're sort of you, you when you write the bullet points out like that because I do that sometimes when I have jokes. That mm-hmm. I, I don't know exactly. I hit there's things you want to hit in the yeah. joke. And then you figure it out as you're on stage. But it, when you're doing that, at the same time, you're 
you're you're you're going through the process of connecting with the audience too. Mm-hmm. So you're working through it and you're trying to like speak to people as if you really talk to them out in a conversation. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's that connection like that. part. That's like that's and, that, and, and that's how I that's how I think. I like like this guy's robot. in my brain right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm off like a joke robot. A lot yeah. of my, a lot I of my fuckers, that when I'm in the crowd. Yeah, yeah, a lot of my fuckers get up there and they rattle off shit they wrote and they're like people are just like this fraudulent ass human being. Like, yeah, it just doesn't sound real. Well, but us as comics, we see it all the time, and you can tell right from the beginning when somebody's rehearsing. They they're literally repeating everything they've written. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, oh, dude. The, like my first my first couple of shows, like that. That's how like that's how it was, and it, and I sounded so bad. I would go back and watch my videos, and I I I was like, dude, I got to change this up. Like I can't just like the way I sound. Like even though people were getting it's not laughs, you. Yeah, I was just running through my set because yeah, like yeah. that's how I would rehearse it. Like I didn't I didn't give people time to like enjoy. You know what? You know the yeah. the joke. You know what I mean? Like but that's let, the let, hardest part of yeah. any kind of public speaking is slowing down. Yeah, yeah. That's and, the and, I, part. and I've learned that so much. Like with yeah, comedy, just, just learning how to like slow it. down. And yeah, yeah. Nervous about you just want to get. Well, through. it's mm-hmm. that fear because when you get on stage for the first few times you get up, you know, if it's not laughter, you want to be talking. So it's either you're talking or it's laughter. And a lot of comics are afraid with just dealing with the silence in a room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Silence is fine. Silence people is fine. Means people, people are listening. Yep. Yes, there is silence. That's exactly right. Silence means you're doing great. Yeah. And that's what's because crazy. they're like, listening to what you have to say. Yeah, and that's that. And, and what's weird is that, like, right off the bat, that's how I thought of it. Like, silence. Oh, that's great because they're listening. Uh-huh. Like, that's how I thought of it. Like, man. you know what I mean? Like, it, it just it just makes sense. Yeah. You know? Yep. It's but you're right. It is. It's very difficult to get used to it because mm-hmm. in your mind, when I'm done talking, they should be laughing the yeah. whole time mm-hmm. without a setup. Yeah. That's the beginning of it. Yeah. But like you said, man, you go up, it's, it's rehearsed. I was the same thing. It, it was all rehearsed. It was, I got five minutes. I'm going to plow through this five. If I take a longer break than I'm expected, mm-hmm. then I'm not going to be able to get to my last joke because the, I don't know right, what to yeah. do. So you just plow right through it because you're like, all right, I did my five. I did it. Yeah, whatever yeah, whatever yeah. the audience. Yeah. But as you get better, you start to feed off of the crowd. You're now working for the, the crowd, if that mm-hmm. makes sense. Yeah. Um, but I don't, look, I don't write a lot. Mm-hmm. I write on stage, which I say you know all the time, because it comes off as a real conversation. Mm-hmm. Dude, there's times where right before, right, like the second right before I go on stage, I'll have something that that that'll just pop into my head. And I go, all right, I'm gonna say it. Right. Yeah. I ha- that happens to me so do much. You, do you like record? Happen- uh, do I record what? Your sets? No, usually I just remember. All right. Damn, and you don't write it down afterwards, uh-uh. like nothing. Uh-uh. Superhero, motherfucker. Yeah, no I'm shit, brain, man. But like, okay, so don't okay, drink because like brain is solid. <laughs> okay, so let me explain it because a lot of people ask like, like, so whoa, like, how do you do what that? It's like being so, let, sober. so I'll explain yeah. it. I'll explain it because like, so even people in my acting classes, or like my acting class, are like, how do you learn your lines so fast? Like, I, I just, okay, so I don't know what it is. Like, um, I listen to a lot of music, right? And so. Uh, like lyric when I read through lyrics I can learn the song like that and the only reason why is because I already know the song and once I see the lyrics it like makes sense so when I when I have a script like you know a script like for my acting class or something I'll see song. yeah I'll turn I, like I can see I can see like I know the script because I just read through it you know what I mean and then all of a sudden I just it just locks in like that. I don't know why it's because but... you're really smart <laughs> <laughs> you consider that. I mean I yeah. dropped out of college. <laughs> <laughs> but you still got in. You already knew college. Yeah. Waste um, your time. Yeah. The one thing that you say in that bit yeah. is when you when you hit the girl, every time I've heard you do it, you say, and I sock that bitch in the face. It's a literal right? punchline. It's yeah. literally a punchline. But no. But, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I like that. It's literally funny. I have a legitimate question. I want to crack a joke so it I makes sense. I never even thought of that. <laughs> but you you chose those words, and I don't. I'm asking you if you chose them specifically because it's you come out saying that every time. I yeah. sock that bitch in the face. So is that something you meticulously came up with and me- messed with words to make those particular choices? Um, and like, and I'm not like a womanizer or like a. No, I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer. But. Uh, it was just like the I don't I don't know what it was, but the, I've I've said that from the start with the okay. joke, of, you know, because it works. That's why I'm yeah, asking and, if and, you had played around. And it with was other just words. no, I've never played around with. I just said that, and and I think 
why it works. I, I mean, I don't know. Actually, it sounds that's a, better than I close fistedly hit someone. Yeah, the like I, it's you just don't like say it like that. You say yeah. it. With yeah, the or I turned and I hit, I hit this yeah. woman in the face. Plus, it's, yeah. yeah, it's not good enough. Sock was, that was, bitch in the face. Yeah. It puts you in that scene. Yeah, like yeah, it, yeah. yeah. Cause she, I mean, she was showing me up Plus and dancing. Used to, <laughs> like, <laughs> a very regional slang. Like socked is not like yeah across the states. Everybody says yeah. that shit. Yeah. So. He already it's, told it's us character to it. Too. Yeah. He can't dance. He's got to have something going for him. And he can fight. I can fight. <laughs> <laughs> and what's weird? Like I don't know. Like I mean, that's like yeah, that's like one of my like favorite. Yeah, that would be my favorite joke. Look living at you out picking out my stuff. Look at him living man. out of fans. I suck that bitch. I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan. Suck. Oh, uh, all right. So let's go. Let's go to Anwar with let's your go. bit. Let's hear it. The one that I choose for Anwar <laughs> is. <laughs> The, yeah. Your car being car stolen. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> uh, I, I always get into this one. I try to get very weird about getting into this one. I always start. I'm joke. ready. I always <laughs> start the joke. Let him with, tell uh, it, Chappelle. Relax. I'm just going to tap in. All right, just for a listen, this is very weird to be performed for three people sitting. You're not. Imagine in, there's in the thousands listening. office chairs, <laughs> or my hips don't even fit in between the arm bars. All right? So, <laughs> can't bear with me. So maybe I, I'll, I'll do. I'll be doing other jokes, right? And then I'll just go like this. Uh, maybe it's time for a story about true crime. How you guys feel about that? I feel great about it. Right. Let's hear it. <laughs> Got carjacked recently. Using your context clues, there's two black people in this story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, it makes me sad too. It makes me sad. I pull up to the Circle K, which we all know to be the central headquarters of crime here in Arizona. <laughs> I go in and get food my body doesn't need or deserve. <laughs> and I come back out, and there's a man sitting in my car. For further inspection, that man is definitely not me, so we're off to a bad start. Off to a bad start. Not looking good. That is stopping from pulling away, backs away in the car, and then the car comes to an abrupt stop because you realize I have the best anti theft system installed, and that is manual transmission. <laughs> You're going to get the fuck out of my car now. <laughs> So I, I back away. I'm, I'm letting him know I'm gonna call the cops, man. And he he came right out of his mouth with, "Hey, hold up, motherfucker, hold up. How about you teach me how to drive it?" <laughs> <laughs> so I did. <laughs> Chappelle is up and out of the studio laughing. <laughs> Audience, man, three people in there. Oh me. man! So I did, not because I was afraid, but because I support the black community. <laughs> <laughs> he needs me now more than ever. Oh god! And I remember the great words of Martin Luther King: "Each one, teach one." <laughs> Can I say something? Is that it? Wait, was that it? Is that it? That, there's more, but it's, I'm, I can do the part that I'm working on, too, if you want me to. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah I do. So so I've, been, I've been adding on to that. That was how it was when I first wrote the joke. Oh, my gosh. So, rest of the joke goes, so there we were. Learning how to drive stick. <laughs> 3 a.m. in the morning on the 51. <laughs> He's got twitch in his eye because he can't believe that shit actually works. <laughs> There's a twinkle in mine because I know I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> I'm playing songs to reinforce the lessons I'm trying to teach him. I want him to get a feel for the clutch, so I put on D'Angelo's hit 2000 record, How Does It Feel? <laughs> oh, God! The real title of that record is Untitled, How Does It Feel? And I feel like the untitled part's more of a metaphor for the status of my car. <laughs> He looks over at me. Hey, eyes on the road, buddy. Ten and two, like the times of day your parole officer. <laughs> Let's keep this going. Need a better thief in this world. Oh, my gosh. I, I drop my phone, and I reach down to pick it up. And once I come back to a seated position, I realize a car following us the whole time. And I'm like, hey, CJ, calm down. That's not his real name. I just figured <laughs> calling him carjacker was a little informal. <laughs> <laughs> CJ. <laughs> I look back and it's not a cop car at all. Oh gosh, it's just some dude that's been following us on the 51 for about three miles. 
And I was like, what did that dude go home and tell his friends and family that he saw that night? <laughs> like, honey, listen, let's get on the internet and figure out what's going on in the world because I'm pretty sure I just saw Don King blowing a dude <laughs> in an 85 Honda Accord with D'Angelo playing at maximum volume. Out the <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke. Hey, oh, can, I, can I say something? <laughs> Everything, uh, oh. everything about that joke, <laughs> the the use of the words, like everything that you pinpointed out of that joke <laughs> is one hundred percent perfect. I give that joke an A, dude, for sure. Like, oh, like seriously, like great. we get great, we get grades in comedy. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I mean, dude, like. <laughs> you had me there the whole time. Uh, yeah. Like, and just like the way, like, just. I'm like sweating. Like, it's like, like, I'm just, like what I like sweat. about it <laughs> is that it's like a. Da, 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 da. Like, it just keeps. It's like he, he explains something and bam, punches you in the face. Explains something, bam, punches yeah. And, and it's constantly like. Your beats are perfect. Yeah. yeah. Like a paternal tone. The tone is great. <laughs> like, the, like. Like you cared for this person. Yeah, yeah well, you're just, his. You're, like when when Kevin's like, do, who do you want to do this show with? I, I was like Anwar. <laughs> Seriously, Stop it. huh? Did Knock I get off? Huh? Did I did I not Im- immediately? Stop I wrote it. you and I said I told you Anwar. <laughs> like immediately, I was like, oh, that was the first. That was the first person I thought of. Yeah. Oh fuck! I'm uh, mushy now. Sorry, my heart place. <laughs> <laughs> That so, is, needless to say, I know how to yeah, drive stick now. <laughs> <laughs> but Chappelle, you're 100 percent right, man. I mean, the word choices and that whole yeah. bit are perfect. Your beats are perfect mm-hmm. in it. Um, I'm a nobody. Still. No, no, no. I mean, the, the, <laughs> let's be honest. And the rest of your act sucks. So. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> oh god! Perfect. Stay. Oh god! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, listeners. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, So, with that bit, to me, when I hear a bit that that, that's long, that long, I'm sorry, uh, and it is methodically kind of spoken. How much of that is written out for you? Do you meticulously write to get it that way, dude? That's good. I, I, I'm a habitual writer, man. I, I have to pick the perfect words Mm -hmm. to to make it funny for me because, I mean, I could get up there and I could definitely just. Be explore funny, with it. explore, and that's mm-hmm. fine. But sometimes you find like interesting word combinations and interesting words yeah. that I just, that are so ridiculous. Like, uh, like, I, like I'll just sit down. Sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll literally just sit. Down, I'll just write mean insults that I think are funny, like mm-hmm. just things to call people. And one of my favorite. Uh, insults that I ever wrote was uh, spatula faced bear hooker. <laughs> <laughs> I was what? just looking for weird spatula words face. to combine. So I say that shit all the time. I'm like, you spatula faced bear hooker, get out of my face. Yeah. I say oh, it all whoa. The time. <laughs> so it's all uh, I, I do. I do like to pick words that I feel like are perfect, but a lot of times it, it, it's about getting on stage mm-hmm. and exploring and yeah. figuring out where you're at in the moment and what people connect to. Because you can write, 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 write. And I, I definitely wrote that joke out, and it's definitely something I, I it's, it's a real story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just weird. Uh, Gosh. But, but, you know, you, you, you can't just rely. Jack, <laughs> Sorry, so here's the real story. All right, there we go. Sorry. So I work at a bar on the weekends, and um, I was coming home one night, and I stopped at a Circle K. And it's all, all of all of, everything that happened in the story was my fault, right? <laughs> and I blame the victim on this. Anwar. Story. Yeah, it's one not your fault. Hey, what story. circle came with Anwar? You I was at the circle. It's K. not. Were you your on Roosevelt Seven? No, that's a shaky one. Too. Oh no, my no. god! I was that's at the you? one at 12th Street and India School, which is just a sh- it's over Dude, there by Rhythm Room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck, it's fucking awful, right? So I, I pull up, and this is what I did wrong. It's completely stupid. I popped out of the car and I saw the cashier right at the desk. I knew exactly. I was like, I'll just leave the engine running. Like a fucking oh God, moron. Dude. Like a dumb dude. Oh, like a dumb man. So I jump up. I go inside. I run up to the and He goes to the back. So I'm sitting at the, at the cashier just like, oh, fuck. And I'm looking back. Yeah. Because I parked it right in front of the door. And I look back. Then I look at him. I look back. Then I look at him. And he finally comes up, rings me up. And I get back. And there was a dude sitting in my car. He was sitting at this fucking little light skinned dude, just jank, and he looks at me. And he just gives me the shrug, like sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, and he hey. backs up, and then the car stops and he just starts jumping and jumping. I'm sitting there, and while I'm looking, I'm like, yo, my car is gone. That's yeah. it. It's a wrap on me 
and you can't live in Phoenix without a car. I don't give a fuck who you nah, are. Yeah, you, yeah. If no. you meet somebody in Phoenix that doesn't have a car, stop getting to know them. <laughs> <laughs> They're not worthy of your time, right? Um, Every so, comedian. <laughs> so, <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, so he gets out the car, right? And and I'm like, hey, I'm going to call the cops, man. I tell him that, you know. And he's like, hey, man, hold up. He's like, hey, man, can you just... And he's like going through his head, like freaking out on some psychotic shit. And he's like... He's like, hey, he's like, can you just can you just take me somewhere, please? Can you take me somewhere? And he's like reaching and shit. I don't know if he's got a gun or yeah, a yeah. knife, but I'm freaking out. And I went to like, <laughs> the, I, I'm a very patient person, so I just, obviously I looked at him. I know, and I obviously, like, and I definitely saw that he was a teenager. And I was just like, what's going on with you, man? And I was, just, I reached out. It was, I, I was scared doing it, so I was like, what's yeah, going on? Do of you course. need help? Yeah. I was like, what's wrong with? You? Like, do you need help? Like, like, I was like, what's going on? He's like, can you please just take me down the street? And I was like, listen. I'll do it, but I was like, you got to promise me you're not going to try some shit. You just try to steal my car. I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> and he's still inside the car, too. So it's not like... And <laughs> you're arguing with yeah, the I'm man like, inside your I'm car. I'm just like, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I want to rob and snuff him or anything, because he might just, bah, you know, I'm done. 3 a.m. Yeah, in the morning. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, that's not a good obituary. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he, he's like, hey, he's like, just teach... So he hops over the, the, the console and gets in a... I'm just like, fuck, he didn't even get out of the car so I could just push him and get in the car and run. Mm-hmm. So I'm taking him down the street and the location changes as we're driving down the street. He's like, no, not here. I don't need to go to 24th in the school. I need you to take me to 40th Street and Baseline. Whoa. That's like, not even close. Cool. Yeah, that's like nah. 20 miles away. So I'm like, I'm sitting in the car with this dude and I'm like, I don't want him to just start stabbing me. So I just get on the highway and I'm like, the first cop I see, I'm the drunkest driver on the road. All right. The hey, my dude, car. That's smart, man. So I'm looking for cops. No cops. <laughs> no cops. When a black man with a cop. One, the one time a black guy's like, pull me <laughs> over. Pull me over. <laughs> so I'm literally just driving like there's no cops and we get closer and closer. But, and poetically enough, the story ends at another Circle K. Oh, man. <laughs> and he's sliding for me. I get there, and I just, I'm like, I try to Holy get him shit. out of the car. I'm like, hey, man, so, and the whole time, he's like freaking out. He's like psychotic. I see that he had like a uh, a mental hospital wristband. Uh, I was like, this kid's out of his I thought you say a mind. Nintendo Power Glove. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like dying to cry. <laughs> Come on, man, you gotta help me. You, you gotta help me. Now. <laughs> So I get him out the car, and I'm trying shit to get him out of the car. I'm like, yo, go inside and uh, get you something to drink. You know, hey, man. Because I kind of became friends. I forgot his name, but I kind of became friends when I was, like, playing the cool. Mm-hmm. He was like, no, no, just give me some cigarettes. I'm like, fuck you. Like, yeah, <laughs> buy you cigarettes, yeah. bitch. Well, you better get a drink. So I go inside. I'm just like, I'm like, all right, I'll just go inside and get something. I'll figure this out. Like, maybe I'll just I'll get the, uh, the cashier call the cops now. I'm just like, sitting in my car. And he walks up, and he comes in, and he comes back, and I'm like, why are you out of the car now when I try to get you out so many times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, he's like, all right, just give me cigarettes. And he goes back, and I'm like, you go suck my dick, you stupid bastard. Like, How dare you tell me to get you in, in front of people, too? No, I don't want to drink. Dare give me some cigarettes. So I just go up to the cashier. I go up to the cashier, and I'm just like, um, you know, call the police. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this motherfucker just carjacked me, and the police show up and did him in. Oh, and, yeah. And the funniest part, and I was talking to Joe Gadget, and he's like, you should fucking say that shit on stage. Is when I finally drove away after the cops made sure I had all my shit, and they were sideways like checking to see if I had some shit they'd get me for it too. Uh-huh. As I'm driving away, and they got this dude in like pseudo handcuffs. All I heard him yell out was, "Thank you." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, for what? For what? Uh, He's like, you made all the right choices. You made all the right like, choices. What? I did it. You you completed the mystery. Uh, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't understand it. I was just driving home. I was so sick in my head over it that I was listening to fucking uh, mariachi music for the whole thirty minutes. <laughs> I, bet. I didn't even realize I was listening to it until I got home. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> that was playing oh, the whole time. No, I love I love I love that bit. That was good, man. Like. <laughs> How does it get from that story to what you came up with to tell on stage? Yeah, and why did you why Maybe did you, you transition this episode it? So people should know. No, <laughs> dude, that's, so, the no, that's, that's the best part. No, that's the best part. That's dope, man. Like I don't know. That's, it's I just used, everything I, about that was perfect. I went up and I used to tell that story like just how it was, and and it was it was. I, I couldn't find the funny parts in it, mm-hmm. so I, that, I embellished a little bit, and now it sort of it started off like really like. Not like how it was, but mm-hmm. now slowly getting to like what actually happened. Because 
after you have a few more years of experience, I started doing that shit when I first started doing stand up comedy. So you haven't been doing it that long, have you? Two years. So two years, I started yeah, yeah. it when I first started getting on stage. But after two years, I started to understand sort of the mechanics a little bit better. Mm-hmm. And I, now I can get back to the truth of the story and make the truth funny. Rather than yeah. like lying about it, like yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I like I like that because that's how yeah. I like to think of it. Instead of just like, you know, just I don't know, like uh, where you just throw in like a bunch of just it, it just becomes not genuine. Yeah, yeah. you know mm-hmm. what I mean. When you start to add all this, like, too many embellishments. Yeah, too and many you can of tell it. that too. Yeah, you can when really tell that. Somebody. It's like, come on, you can, can you, you Nance? Can it Nance is somebody that. Just watch his stand up. Can you tell when a comic is just full of shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can totally. easily tell. You know? We but, can. The yeah. real story's funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and crazy. <Yeah. laughs> so, man, so like two years, you've just been tinkering with it. Yeah. And making it what it is. Is there a chance that, that it just goes to literally originally what happened? Because yeah, the bit. the night. Tonight at Chopping Wagon. Not <laughs> <laughs> Come on down to the show, guys. Uh, also, I have dates this weekend. <laughs> so you, so you've been working. Is that the longest bit you've been working with? I think that's become the longest because it definitely, mm-hmm. like, first time I did it, it stopped that uh, because uh, because uh, I support the black community. That was the end of the joke at first. <laughs> yeah. and I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. was like, keep telling what actually happened. I was like, see like, where it goes. So I started. But I, I like how you did that. Like, yeah. you know, like you would think it in right there, but like. Uh, it keeps going, but it, it, it just continues to grow. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it grows into I, like a really good... It quickly grows from a guy that's stealing your car to now a relationship mm-hmm. that you're yeah. having with this other and you, person. And you, and Legitimately. Like, oh, what's hard about that is that like when people tell like a story joke like yeah. that, like... It's, it's I'm like I'm like oh okay yeah like I'm, I'm like I'm like bored yeah. you know what I mean like <laughs> usually when people tell like a long story joke and but like the thing about it like the way you went about it and like it, it you know like Nancy said like your your tone with yeah. it like everything is just it's good yeah. you know what I mean but like it's a really interesting story anyway yeah so. yeah like, like that's a great and you, base yeah to and start you keep with. it you interesting find, when you tell a joke that long you have to the best part about doing that one is you once you record it and hear. You hear long swaths of time where no one's laughing. Even mm-hmm. though they're listening, you're like, oh, I can throw something funny in there. Mm-hmm. I can throw an observation about what I'm saying there that makes it just a deviation. I call them branching off jokes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, not necessarily going down the, the narrative of the joke, but branch off and make a joke about this part of it and then get back into the story. Mm-hmm. Like, well, stop here and let's make fun of it here and then come back yeah. to the... So it keeps people engaged. They laugh a little bit, but they're still like, okay, get, get us to the end. Mm-hmm. It's that suspense and, 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 and funny, you know? And you know so, what? You know what? I, I, another thing that I think is why it like works good too is that like, like you don't you don't have like a lot of words. You have like the right words. You yeah, know what I mean? Like and, you know you know what I mean? Like because there's sometimes where just people just have a lot of words and you know they need to take a lot take yeah. take stuff out. And it, and it, the way you do it, it looks like you 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 didn't even add a bunch of words. <laughs> you just you just chose the right. Words, you know what I mean. And now he just leaves his car on in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> more more jokes, just attack, need more jokes. You know what I, you know what I hate sometimes though. I don't know if you guys ever see this with like some of uh, other comedians, like ones that are just always looking for a story. Like they're always like trying to do something just to get a story. Yeah. To turn it. No, oh my I gosh, that bugs I, me. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, I, I know pick why. Stories in my life that are already sort of weird. Yeah. Then make them fun. Because you know what? You know what? Like, like I don't know if you know about my car. Like how I got hit by that officer. Oh yeah, stuff like that. Crazy. So many people were like, "Man, this would be another good. Bit. This would be another." I was like, "This is not a joke." My car's ruined. You tell, know what I mean? tell the story. What happened? People All right, don't know. So it's a new celebrity. We <laughs> yeah, got new right celebrity, now. baby. <laughs> Uh, so basically what happened, uh, one Friday morning, it was around like nine, nine o'clock in the morning. Um, I hear this loud boom, like this, it sounded like a bomb went off, right? Like, and I thought it was inside my house. I thought my dogs like did something crazy, like knocked something over, but then I was like, dang it, that shook the house, you know? And it, it sounded louder than being in the house. And I go outside and I see my roommate. You know, running outside in his underwear, and I was like, "What the heck is he doing?" So I run out in my underwear, and <laughs> so with, homoerotic. I know, we're just like, <laughs> so I, so I was looking, and I just, and I, you, you know, I had worked out hard the day before. <laughs> my muscles were you know, missing, and, and so <laughs> before I ran out, I had spritz water on my body. <laughs> <laughs> he got just, a bottle right by the door, just like, "Hey, on. <laughs> 
But anyways, so I act. <laughs> so I go look outside, and my car is like smashed into my roommate's Jeep. And, so um, both of your cars got done. Yeah, and nice. then my, my roommate's Jeep is, like, smashed into our neighbor's uh, Chevy Tahoe. And hey, and I thought, like, it was a hit and run. and Because I didn't see on the other side that there was a, a cop car flipped over upside down. You know what I mean? So I, I run over, and I just look at all this, like, <coughs> craziness. And all these people were running around, like, trying to film it. And then uh, people were pulling a lady out of the out of the vehicle. You know what I mean? And the cop uh, car? yeah, out of the cop car, she was a uh, dispatcher doing a ride along with the cop. Oh, okay. The cop ended up having a seizure, oh. and so they were headed straight for a brick wall. So instead of going straight to the brick wall, the dispatcher pulled the steering wheel, and it like our car stopped there. Oh. So they, so they like dukes a hazard off my off of our was car. Was everyone okay? Oh, man, <laughs> So yeah, it was it was crazy, man. Like like when you when the sound that I heard and the fact that it shook the house was just unbelievable to go outside. It looked like it seriously looked like a movie. Like Bad Boys Two was being filmed. Three, <laughs> three. Do you know if <laughs> okay. Huh? Yeah, the guy, um, the lady they pulled out. She she was good, but they had to wait for the fire department to get. Uh, the, the officer out because he was like he was still like seizing or whatever I think. So, <laughs> and like when they put him on a stretcher like he he looked bad man so then did you go oh we need to call the police we need <laughs> to call. <laughs> like like to be it was this. and people immediately came like the cops immediately came they had the the helicopter over you know over our yeah. house and stuff like that and, and they're uh, gonna take care of it all for you oh yeah they give me mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. like, oh, threaten yeah. you guys to be quiet about it like, like shut, shut up, up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> so uh so yeah and like so when that happened people were like oh man this would be another good joke for you i was like this <laughs> no <laughs> like, I, I, that's like one of my biggest pet peeves is when people try to do that to me oh you should talk about that oh, yeah. should, like no i shouldn't yeah. <laughs> like fuck you i do that sometimes <laughs> but like like it's different it's different on a that's comedic funny, standpoint you should, you yeah, like, yeah, like i know i know like i know you guys as comedians would never go hey right. Chappelle, you, you gotta write this down right. yeah you know what i mean like yeah. no i'm not trying to write down my car getting ruined right. you know what i mean like it, there's I wasn't laughing, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just uh, looking at, you know, it, 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 it was a total, a total of five cars in the accident, and three got totaled. Oh wow. shit, so, man! Do you have a new car now? No, I'm about to get one. <laughs> <laughs> about to get a real nice one. <laughs> Total us in a loader in the parking lot. After yeah. The well, yeah, it was just like every, everyone, man. Oh, dude, this would be good for you. Your stand up. I'm like fucking assholes. Why? Yeah. You tell me why. Like, write it for me, hey, and I'll see. Hey, when it's all over and you get a new car, maybe you'll think it's funny. I know, maybe. I think it's kind of funny. Yeah, it, I mean, it's because it, it, because it's just so random. It is. He, he <laughs> went. He went. <laughs> a cop car is what hit you. Of mm-hmm. all cars, one of my friends told black me, people cars don't matter. I stole. I stole. I stole that from someone. I stole. You know who I stole that from? Because someone wrote that on my. Uh, they wrote that on my picture that I posted of the cars messed up. It was uh, Ricardo. Yeah, I've been Rocha. yelling at Rocha. Yeah. I've been yelling Black Lives Matter everywhere I can, man. In the worst. I went to, like, uh, they had Slide the City this past weekend. Oh, yeah. Phoenix, where they like, that a giant fun. water, like, slip and slide. And I yelled at the whole way. Down. Dude, it's so Black funny. Lives you, know what's, you, know what's, Black lives matter. you know what's funny, Anwar, is that people... People were like telling me I should like <laughs> riot over that. I was like, <laughs> what? I was like, because he had a seizure. Had a seizure. I was like, uh, no. Like, so like they were genuine about it. Yeah, and I was like, you know, people have you know way Medical worse problems than yeah. than my In car get hit by a cop. You, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah, like, craziness. they're gonna give you. And I was like, yeah, they know it's oh, this this black guy's car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa, man, if yeah. I could have a seizure right now, <laughs> right. this would be yeah, perfect. Yeah, man, he, and that was that was the the, the crazy yeah. part is like was when they pulled the cop out and he was still like What's messed up. up. But he he yeah. made he made it, which is which is good because like, like I just felt so bad. Like it was just like you know everyone's like wanted me to be like overly pissed about it and like and, and everybody's got their little theories too like no nah, he was nah, dude he, <laughs> he was, no he yeah like everyone's like no nah, man he just wanted to have fun and joy ride down your block <laughs> sure, right. i was like yeah 25 to 60 that real quick you know what i mean like yeah he just wanted to have fun down the block i was like dude 
Like, like stop and just take it for what it was. You know, dude had a seizure. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, some cars got totaled, but you know, the the state's being cool about it and 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 paying for it. So yeah, like, get it, back on Facebook. I would write it. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Like now you like, guys get new Tahoes. Right. <laughs> exactly. Like and like the. Because uh, people were, like, tagging me in, like, the news post of it. Because it was, like, all uh, obviously all over the news. Yeah. And uh, they were just... Uh, the, the the comments that I was reading about people, like, from random people was, like, ridiculous. I was, like, people were... Really, oh, so, like, the news... Like, the news... Yeah, like, the news is Facebook. So, just everybody... So, like, Channel, Channel, 15, yeah. Channel 15 News, like, they posted about it. And then all these people's comments were, like, ridiculous. I was like, people think uh, like why this? Why were you reading comments? Like, I don't know. Because <laughs> I was interested. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with your life? <laughs> Get off your well, phone. Listen a, to me. I am listening. We got, <laughs> we, got a, we, got, we got to wrap up. Oh, we got to wrap up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. guys were awesome. Dude. This was so much fun. <laughs> this was my favorite episode of Man, all time. Man, you shit on I'm my real. joke. He shit what? on my joke. His joke shit on mine. <laughs> Oh, my job? Yeah, is this yeah, a rap yeah. battle? This is me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, we got to do something. Like, you hear that yeah. podcast? Your arm wears shit on Chappelle in that pocket like rap tracks. Yeah. <laughs> like, I feel like, what's that guy's name on 8 Mile? When Eminem? Eminem? No, when B-Rabbit, this is a Papa Doc. Papa yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I feel yeah. right now. Like, yeah, Ether. Oh, you are, yeah, that's Ether. Like, he just. <laughs> we just. Yo, he, he the one who picked it. He I set know. you up, son. He picked my shittiest Fucking joke. Sad, Whatever, man. I'm a mastermind. You my shittiest joke that Ho-ass. always gets laughed. Oh, ass. Kevin Elliott. What up? Sock a bitch. That's what, what, Sock a bitch. That's Sock what I do. <laughs> he didn't give me a beat either. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for coming on. Both of these shout, out, uh, shout out dates. You got any dates you got coming up? What Not this, this week. So this Sunday. Is, this this comes are, out Sunday. Sunday. These are my dates that I have coming up. Whenever, whenever the weekend comes around, I just hit up Kevin and go, "Hey, where are you performing?" <laughs> <laughs> I seriously do. I go, "Hey, where are you performing?" So All check right, so check my by. dates, man. <laughs> so check Kevin's you. dates and I'll be there. <laughs> seriously, that's what I do. Where are you at this weekend? All right, cool. All right, cool. See you there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got. My dates. I got uh, a date on Wednesday at the Peter Jungle with Emily. Um, she's a nice girl. I met on Tinder. Uh, no. <laughs> Stupid. No, I thought he was really performing at Peter Jungle with a girl named. No, there's Emily. a mic at Peter yeah. Jungle now. Yeah, stop. Uh, no, um, everybody should come out to the Rogue Bar at I think it's 423 North Scottsdale Road for uh, the All Caps Comedy Pizza Party that I'm throwing. Free and that pizza, show is so dope. Raffle dude. prizes. Yeah. Anwar blows the time. show out. It yeah, is it awesome. It starts at 7 o'clock. So $7 at 7 o'clock. Come oh, on out. Fun. I'll be there. It's really free fun. Pizza, raffle. Yeah. It's a badass show, man. It's a like great show. Like I said, show. just hit up, just yeah. look at Kevin's Facebook. <laughs> Come on. And then I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm be also asking Kevin for a spot. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's how we get our spots. <laughs> what if we just start taking Kevin's spots? <laughs> Like, I'm Kevin Elliott. <laughs> hey, I'm Kevin I'm Elliott. I keep getting booked. They're like, how can you even bring anybody with you, man? <laughs> you were really funny the other night when you were black. That was like, how to go back to it. <laughs> Why'd you stop doing that part of your act? <laughs> <laughs> Too bad he can't dance. Uh, all right. Yeah, man. That would be hilarious, dude. Thanks. Um, guys, thank you again so hey, much for coming on, dude. I can't wait to do this again with you guys. <laughs> yeah. right, hey, everybody, have a good week. We'll see you next week. This has been another proud production of the Four-Eyed Radio Network. You want to see more shows, go check out www.fouredradio.com, you winkers.